Isaac Jordan defeating Daniel Lewis. Now we're up at 174 pounds. It's Illinois' Zach Brunson and Ethan Ramos of North Carolina. You a Van Halen fan? No, I'm not. Oh, man, you're missing out. Ramos and Brunson here at 174. Brunson ranked 14th in the country, as I mentioned, from Eugene, Oregon, four-time state champion at four different weights for Churchill High School. Five-time Fargo All-American was Brunson, captured the junior freestyle title in 2011, 22 and five a year ago, was a fifth seed at the NCAAs, did not place. Two weeks earlier was a Big Ten runner-up, fell to Bo Nickel of Penn State. So Brunson, you know, wants to finish on a positive note at Illinois. What Ramos has to be careful of is Brunson will come to that right side collar tie and then shoot a low level attack. And as I say that, Ramos in deep on a high crotch has his head on the outside. Brunson looking to roll through, now gets his head up, cradle position. In those scrambles, always talk about it, head high wins, and that was the case once again as Brunson strikes first. Leads it 2-0. In talking to Brunson earlier, he said he's really upped his commitment level with his training. And now looking for some near fall. Two near fall. Does not get that four count. But coming out quick, two takedown, two near fall makes it 4 nothing. You look at Ramos, was an All-American as a freshman in 2015, he finished sixth, went as a 15 seed. That was at 165 pounds, but then last year went in as a number four seed, was upset in the first round, and then in the consolations, fell to Alex Meyer of Iowa. So again, a situation where you gotta right that wrong. I'm sure you feel that hurt, that burn, all summer long. That's gotta be a frustrating walk out of that arena at Madison Square Garden. He felt both ends of it, and I'm sure he wants to feel the way two years ago that he did and not last season. Ramos from Hawthorne, New Jersey, was a state champion there. As a junior, won the NHSCA title at the Junior Nationals. Great first period here for Brunson. A takedown, a turn, riding time at 50 seconds. Has a right leg in. TrackWrestling.com rankings, Ramos ranked 9th, Brunson ranked 14th. Ranked number one is Bo Jordan of Ohio State, up from 165. Zach Epperly, Virginia Tech, second. Casey Kent of Penn is third, followed by Nathan Jackson of Indiana and Kyle Crutchmer of Oklahoma State. Four to one, half a minute remaining here in this first period. Two on one from Brunson. Illinois with guys like Zane Richards. We saw him earlier at 133. You bring Isaiah Martinez at 165. Brunson here at 174. High expectations at heavyweight for Brooks Black. There you see Coleman Scott. 2012 Olympic bronze medalist in London. Four to one. Choice goes to Brunson, he'll defer. And Ramos will go on bottom. Tough choice here in the second period. You would have liked to have choice in the third if you're Ramos because you know how good Zach Brunson is on top. And historically, we've seen Zach Brunson come out in the first period, get a takedown, get a turn, and then taper off towards the end of the third period. And this gives him an opportunity to really establish himself in that top position, continue to build that riding time, and get comfortable and catch his win back. Jim Hefferton likes what he sees. Head coach at the University of Illinois. Yeah, Brunson had riding time built up over a minute in the first period and going right back to work on top. And when you are tough in that top position, it is a game changer. It's a game changer in these matches. 
Riding time at 146, and then Ramos with an escape, four to two. But this match has really been controlled by Brunson. There's a shot, too much space straight on from Ramos and caught underneath. And that was one of the notes I had on Ramos is that closing the distance is going to be key for him here in this match tonight. You often see him when he gets to his high crotch, he doesn't get in as much trouble as he does when he shoots to the double leg. The double leg comes from the far distance as you just mentioned. So he has to get to that high crotch and continue to close that distance if he's going to shoot that double leg. Another great opportunity here for Brunson. Plenty of time, 45 seconds. Stay patient. Bring him back to the center. I didn't like that, Eric. I mean, you got you to finish that. I'm not exactly sure what Brunson was thinking there. No. He... I mean, you got him in great position to score. Now R Ramos in on the leg. Just a little too relaxed. It's okay to be patient there. Bring it back to the center. But again, going back to that urgency. That's two points. Points are golden. Get them. Short time. Chest lock here from Brunson. And he concedes the takedown with 10 seconds. And I got to tell you, I've been able to see Brunson a lot on, on the Big Ten Network. And that's something I see out of him. I just, I, I think in those situations, you can't give that up like that. Look at the swing. That's, that's a huge swing, exactly. It's four to four to the third period. And now, of course, if you're Ramos, you got riding time at 138. Brunson, nothing off the whistle, head down. If you're Ramos right here, you want to work that riding time down. And it's early. And, of course, conditioning a factor this early on in the season. But it's been the, the tale that we've talked about. You can go back and watch matches, and it's match in and match out, yet you have to continue to get better. If you listen well, you can hear Mark Perry yelling back in Champaign. No doubt about it. Riding time nearing the minute, 102 on the clock. Breaks Brunson down flat. In any sport, you gotta capitalize on opportunities. And he was in great position to score, had that single leg, and basically walked him out of bounds, uncontested, and then gave up that takedown. Leg up in the air, hopping on one foot, 30 seconds left on the clock, plenty of mat to work with, and continued to move forward instead of coming back to the center. Four point swing right there. 54 ticks here in this third period. I was just thinking if I'm Ramos with 54 ticks left, why waste some time potentially giving him the escape with a couple seconds left? I cut him. He I'm okay with this. I'm okay. You got 40 seconds. You've been able to ride him. I'm okay, Eric. I, I expect to see Ramos try to ride him out, take it to sudden victory. And as I say that, there's an escape. And right back in with an attack is Ramos, but again, not much of a setup. 20 seconds. So just building up the win to get that escape. Now staying defensive, smart in the positions is Brunson. Final 10 seconds. And it looks like Brunson will hang on and believe they stopped the action because the clock wasn't moving. I would assume they take some time off as they do. And Zach Brunson able to escape with the W, five to four Brunson over Ramos here at 174 pounds. With 184 being our feature match, we'll wrestle that one last. So up next, it's 197 pounds.